Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how we can use PowerShell script to change local account password on the multiple computer. To change the password, we have to give that computer list here in this text file. So currently, let me show you what is there in that file. Okay, so we have a three, four computer here. One, 51, 52, 53 and 54. So this computer doesn't exist, it is not there. But I have given that because I want to show you how it is handle the error when the computer is offline. Okay, so here you can see the client one have the 51 IP address, client 252 and client 3, 53 IP address. Okay, but we have a 4 IP address because this computer doesn't exist and it is not there. Okay, now here in the next line, we have again used the account name variable. So we can enter like whenever we run the script we will get a chance to enter that account which account password we want to change on the remote computer so that will we will enter here now here the third variable we have given as a credit to get the credential to connect a workgroup computer we need to specify the credential this script is applicable on the workgroup computer that is the reason this credit uh, variable is important so we can authenticate using this credential on the remote computer if your computer is in domain then the script will be different and i'll i will explain that in a different video again here in the port line we have used a new pass variable and here we have a chance to enter the new password that you want to set for that account whichever the account we are giving here and whatever the password, uh, the new password we will enter here that will uh, th this will set as a local account password for this account. Okay, but here we have used as a secure string parameter and why we have used that because the password should not be in a plain text. Okay, so it is always recommended that. So do not use the uh, plain text password whenever you are working in the script. Now here we have using the invoke command and we are giving the computer name and that computer name will be from coming from this variable. Against that we are using the credential variable and this credential we are getting from this variable again we have a script block where we are actually uh, getting this account and uh, resetting the password of that account okay so we have a two command get hyphen local user so it will try to get that account from the remote computer and here set local user hyphen password and then here we are trying to change that password whatever the password we have entered here in the new pass okay now here we have not directly used the variable whatever we have given here but we have used in a different way like we have first used dollar using then colon and then the variable name okay so why we are using that so sometimes you may face the issue like uh, uh, suppose you have used some uh, variable and that is not exactly coming as it is in the command line then you can use the dollar using variable uh, before our actual variable and it will come as it is okay so you can try that uh, in your lab and then uh, you can let me know if you are facing any issue so uh, let me run that script but before that let me show you what password we have set so it is highly recommended don't uh, share your password because this is a testing lab so I'm just sharing with you but uh, do not ever share your password with anyone Okay, so we have as a testing lab, we have set the password welcome 111. You can see here. Okay, this is the wrong pass. Welcome 111. Okay, fine. Then let me hit enter. Okay, so I logged into that computer with welcome 111 password. Okay, we have a three computer here and uh, we are going to change the password on all the computer. So let me run the script and here it is asking to enter local account name so i want to change a password for admin account okay and the same account i'm going to use for the authentication okay well welcome one 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 okay and provide a new password okay so i want to set that to welcome one two three okay and if i hit enter here So uh, here the problem is like uh, you 
will not get confirmation message that the password has been reset but you will get only the error if that password is not changed or there is any issue on that computer then only you will see some error locked for that right so here uh, for uh, 51 52 and 53 there is no error lock but for the 54 there is a connection error because that server doesn't take list correct so on all three computers the password had been changed so what is our new password one two three okay so let me show you that let me log off from this computer welcome one two three and you can see here welcome one two three and i'll hit enter i successfully logged in okay so let me log off this one as well and this one and i'll use welcome one two three to log into this computer okay welcome one two three okay so you can see here we have set a one two three password without logging into that server now let me clear this screen okay and suppose i change this password okay let me run as administrator need user then admin and i want to again set password for this one 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 okay command completed so i change password to welcome one 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 for this second computer for this two computer the password is welcome one two three and for this computer it's a welcome one 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 so let me run the script here account name admin admin welcome one two three and the new password will come one 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 okay and you can see here for the 52 like for mom sil zero two the password is not accepting that is the reason the connection is not established okay so we have access denied error because the password is a different for that but for uh, cl1 and cl03 uh, they will not have any error it will change the password on that computer okay so 52 and 54 54 by default it will come because that computer is, doesn't exist okay so uh, to handle this error okay uh, this one uh, we we have some additional parameter used in the world. second script let me clear screen now here we have a second script where we have added the if statement so if the computer is powered on or it is reachable then only it will perform that invoke command on that computer or else it will directly give okay the server is offline check manually now what we have used here it's a static uh, sentence so you can modify that if you want to perform any other script you can just mention it here now here in the invoke command this command is same but we have added the new line here so once this command is run on that remote computer it will again run this line and it will print the message okay this password has been changed successfully on this server okay so here the server name will appear and here it will say okay the password change is successful here in the first script it was not there but again this is a custom message okay so uh, suppose uh, I was able to connect to that computer, but I didn't change the password here. So uh, there will be error on your PowerShell script, but still you will get this custom message because uh, it is not based on the acknowledgement that whether the password had been really changed on that computer or not. But generally it uh, doesn't happen like that because once you are able to connect to that computer, then definitely it will change the password and it will give this print message okay so let me run this command yeah okay let me check what is the password now okay one 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 fine okay 
give me the credential admin one 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 and then enter account name to change okay it's the admin account i want to change the password and the new password i want to put as a welcome one two three okay now here you can see the acknowledgement okay on the 51 password change 52 password change 53 again and the 54 it will not give that red error but it will show okay this computer is offline check manually okay so earlier there was a red uh, error uh, on the powershell script but now it is not there okay so this is how you can use this script for your environment and this is only applicable for the work group computer so if your computer is in domain uh, do not apply this uh, script or you can just modify according to your use and then you can use that okay for the domain computer i'll make another video and we'll show you that if you have any query or doubts, you can put into the comment box and I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.